By the way, let me ask everybody a question. Can everybody sell a car a day? Why is now the best time in the history of the world to buy a car? The best sales training I could ever give you is gonna be right here, okay? Now, is everybody in here paid off commission? Yes. Yeah? Money made, money paid. You do a good job, you do a good job, you get paid more money. Okay, what do you need to average per commission times 260 to make the number you said you wanna make? By the way, let me ask everybody a question. Can everybody sell a car a day? Ha guys, how many hours do y'all work a day? 10 hours? If you're at work, what does it take, three hours to sell a car? So you get to screw off for seven hours, and if you only show up for three hours a day and sell one car, right? What do you need to run per commission times 260 to make what you wanna make? If I make $1,000 a commission, times 260, I can make 260,000. Does that make sense? But if you're like, well, I only make $500 commission on my average deal. Okay, you need to sell two, dude. Now two is 1,000 a day times 260 days, taking a third of the year off, you're making 260. Does that make sense? Okay, so first of all, I wanna ask you guys a question. Can you sell one car a day, yes or no? What's the average commission in the company? Does anybody know, ballpark? And by the way, guys, if it's 300, I promise you, it could be three times that. Do you hear me? People that don't get along with people, it's real hard to, to bring good grosses on those deals. Does that make sense? Okay, it's really hard for us to make money when clients don't like you, which is why right now I need you to like you. I need you to change. I need you to alter your identity. See your identity? Every one of you in this room right now, as I'm talking to you, you have an idea, identity currently. And as I'm talking to you, I know you know my identity. I'm gonna go get it. No one's gonna stop me and that's gonna be the way. Is that your identity? Can you have that identity? Are you willing to show up and work your ass off all day long with that identity? Can you keep it in a world that doesn't want you to have it? That's the goal. Do you guys get this? Average people are dying for you to conform. Do you get it? They want you to settle. And when you don't settle, what is there? There's conflict. When you don't settle, I'm gonna rattle your ass. Cause I don't like it when you win. You know why? Cause you're doing shit that I don't, that I feel like I can't do or that I isn't capable of me. You can do whatever. You guys gotta call your shots. Now, whenever you go to work, right? There's 260 days in a year you're gonna work. If you sell one car a day, I'm just giving you an example, and the average commission is 500 bucks, let's just use an easy number, that's 130,000 a year. You sell one car a day, one car a day at $500 commission, you make 130,000 a year. Is that good money, yes or no? Who in here, when they go to work for 10 hours a day, can find two cars to sell? Can you find two cars to sell in here? Raise your hand if you can. Hold on, but watch, see, see this? See these slow hands raising? See the slow hands? The slow hands is you have an identity that says this can't happen. Dude, you have to get past that. You have to get over that. Do you understand? I'm, like guys, the economy's not the problem. The customers aren't the problem. The dealership's not the problem. How many cars we have isn't the problem. The interest rates aren't the problem. Negative equity isn't the problem. The banks aren't the problem. The credit ain't the problem. You're the freaking problem. Does everybody get it? What is the reason why you're not getting what you want? Is it, is it anyone else or is it you? Here, here's what I see. This is why this is the most important thing you'll ever learn in your life. Hey guys, what's going on? It's Andy. A lot of you leave comments telling me that you need help. Do me a favor. I'm going to tell you the best way to get a hold of me. Shoot me a text message right now, 918-210-0254. 918-210-0254. I'll help you with whatever you need. I got your back for life. Let's get back to the video. I watch people self-sabotage their life every day. I watch people, even when they go on a good streak, they're like, something's bad's gonna happen. So they just go ahead and tear down their own self. You guys must become something the world's never seen. That's what I've done. And I'm telling you, I don't, I'm not boasting. I'm not, I have become somebody that I like. And listen, notice he walked in the room, half of you guys looked that way. Who gives a shit who's walking in the room? You guys get it? This is how easily you're distracted. When I'm working a deal, and I'm sitting down here working with the client, you think I give a shit if anybody's walking around me? You think I care if a phone's ringing? You think I care if anything else is going on? I care about him and him only. This is me being present when I'm in a deal. Am I on my phone? Am I talking to a, a teammate? No, I'm right here. You see, what I want you to know is that what you guys want, which is attention in this world, is exactly what your customers want. You guys gotta get out there and realize, dude, you got all these distractions that are distracting you. Dude, if you don't end up getting where you wanna go, at the end of your life, you're gonna be sitting on a bedpan and you're gonna have regrets. Like, dude, can I ask you a question? I said, who's got families? 
okay, do you guys have enough money put up where if something happened right now and, and you died, they're taken care of, or does someone else got to step in? Like, like, start taking this shit personal. You feel me? By the way, are we going to stress out about it? No ways. Nobody sells anything when they're stressed. We just must become who we're always supposed to become. All right, so number one, if you become the person, if you have the belief, if you have the confidence, and by the way, wicked confidence, wicked confidence, wicked belief. Hey, have you ever sat across the table from someone and you can tell that they're uncertain? Yes or no? Yeah. Whose job is it to let them borrow some certainty? Mine. How can you guys do this? That's why they call the closers in to go close the deals. You know who the closers are? People who believe in themselves. Am I right? They're like, oh, this guy ain't going to pay for it. This guy's not better than you. He just believes. Like, come on, man, give me that. Where are they at? Where are they at? These people, these nice people, come on, man. They don't even care. They know how this is going to go down. Why are these people here? Why did they call on the phone? Because they want to buy something. Holy crap. All they want to do is, buy, is want to buy something, and they want to find someone that can help them. That's all they want to do. So the best sales training I could ever give you is going to be right here, okay? This is actually what we do. We help people make a decision to help themselves. Am I right? Okay, what do you do for a living? I help people help themselves. That's all you do. When people ask, what do you do for a living? I'm in the transportation space. I sell cars. I help people help themselves. And if you guys will listen to me right now, here's what I want to tell you. Stop being ashamed of being a car salesman. Everybody listen to me. Listen up right now. All the doctors, you can make more money than them. All the lawyers, you can make more money than them. Everybody you know, you can make more money than them. So are you proud to be a car salesman? Yes. Everybody drives a car. My bad, you know why like car salesman? What do you drive? Oh, got a car? <laughs> That's funny. It's funniest shit I've ever heard in my life. Now, I'm gonna, can I tell you guys why they hate you? Listen, they won't hate you for long after this class, if you can change. But I'm going to tell you why they hate you. Because you guys hate amateurs too. Do you guys hate amateurs? Do you guys hate people that are supposed to be good at helping you but that can't help you? When you go through a drive through and you order food and then you get home with your family and the whole order's wrong, are you pissed? Yeah. You know, people want to trust people that they can help them. And I'm going to tell you this. People don't train, they don't self-develop, and they don't learn. So they stay amateurs. If you go to a, a Starbucks right now and somebody's taking surveys and they're saying, hey, what do you think about car salesmen? People would say robbers, thieves, and liars. The question is, what do they say after they meet you? After I meet you, what I have, my feelings towards you, is all that matters. What do they say about you? 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 That's all that matters. That is it. Who gives a what anybody has said about anyone. What do they say about you guys? You work for the greatest company. You guys are in the automotive space at the best time in the, in the history of the world. Everybody's asleep. Now's your time to smoke everybody. So what do we got to do? We got to become this person, man. I told you that's magnetic, that has a good attitude, that has a delusional belief. Hey, facts. Is it the best time in the last two years for a consumer to make a deal on a car? Yes or no? What, what does that mean when I say, is it the best time for a consumer to make a deal on the car? What does that mean? Come on. Because people need cars. I mean. No. Why is it the best time right now for a consumer to make a deal on a car? Standing in front of me. No, no, no. But why is it the best time now? Why is today their lucky day when they're with you? Because 10 months ago, they'd have to pay 20000 over sticker for a car and wait on it, and they'd buy air because you could land a 747 on, on dealership slots because there was no cars. Am I right? Why is now the best time in the history of the world to buy a car? Prices are down. Prices are down. Bam. Consumers can make deals. Number two, you can take delivery of the car today. Abracadabra. In most cases. You guys, I'm looking out at your lot. I see cars. I see cars. That means we can deliver cars. Okay? So number one, are the rates high? Yeah. yeah, but you date the rate, you marry the payoff. Would you rather pay 20 grand more for the car? Would you rather pay 20 grand more for the car and get a lower rate or get a better deal on it and when the feds drop the rate, refinance it? Which one? That's right. That's right. Good. So today's the day. You, if money's a concern to you, if money's important to you today, saving money, you would need to buy today. Does that make sense? Yes or no? Can, can I get everybody to understand this? Is now the best time to buy a car? Yes, sir. Yes. Is it? 
Why is it? Because we have cars. Also, why? They're more affordable today. They're not more affordable because it's the best time in the history of the last two years for a consumer to make a deal on a vehicle like yourself. Let me explain. It's a buyer's yes, everybody say, let me explain. Let me explain. Tell them, let me explain. If you were sitting here in the same place in the same lot 10 months ago, you'd have paid an additional 20 grand because of availability. We didn't have any cars. It's a fact anywhere in the world but today cars here i'm here you're here and it's the best time in the history to make a deal on a vehicle so you're here the price is great are you saying i'm going to get a better deal no you're already getting a great deal it was 20 grand over 10 months ago by the way while the market's downtrending you're still getting more for your trade today and you're getting a good deal on the car i know but the rates are high everybody say date the rate okay you marry the payoff the payoff can you refinance a payoff yeah if you put money down but the payoff is the payoff, am I correct? Yes. If you guys can just get this through your head, your job is to paint pictures. Yeah. Mr. and Mrs. Johnson, if this vehicle was $50,000 and I would have sold it to you at 65,000, which is what it would have cost you 10 months ago, and the rate would have been lower, you would have paid 15 grand more, which means your payoff would have been 15 grand higher. Does that make sense? Yeah. But today, you're gonna buy it for 50,000 and even though the rate's a little higher, that doesn't matter. Isn't this a presidential election year? Yeah. Isn't it? When the presidential election years come up, don't the Freds usually drop the rates to make the president look good? Okay, so we already know what the future predicts, that rates are gonna come down, and we know today you're getting a good deal, so we're gonna buy the car today, we're gonna get a good deal, and then when the rates drop, just refinance, it's no big deal. It's no big deal. You must believe, you must own this. You guys, listen to me. Whenever customers start giving you excuses and they start sticking their hand out, like you're gonna eat out of their hand like a little animal, you, I mean it, because salesmen do that. Customers are like, oh, rates are high, we're gonna wait. Salesman's like, oh, oh. It's like, it's like guys, date the rate, marry the payoff. Slap that food out of their hand. Like, guys, you're, you're hilarious. Date the rate, marry the payoff. So number one, that's the most important thing, is who sets the tone, who sets the standard for everything? You guys do. Are you guys asleep at the dealership? Are you asleep when you answer the phone? Are you guys having the best day of your life and ready to sell cars and rock and roll and ready to help families? Hey guys, I just wanna tell you, you're the true one percenters. You made it till the end of the video. Do me a favor, share it with the friend that wants to go to another level. Make sure you like the video, comment below so I know who you are. Set your notifications and then subscribe to the channel. We got daily sales training videos dropping. I'll see you soon.